everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyla and today I'm going to be doing the first video in a new series that I want to do which is basically going to be going in depth on certain reptiles, certain reptile groups to kind of explain a little bit more about them. That way I can learn more, you can learn more. Hopefully it'll be a good series. So the first reptile we're going to be talking about is turtles and today I'm going to be discussing the differences between turtles and tortoises. So if you guys are interested, definitely stick around. And if you want to see more reptile content from me, you can follow me on Instagram. It's going to be on the screen now and it'll also be in the description for you. And please subscribe and remember to like and leave a positive comment and let's get right into it. So what is a turtle? A turtle is the umbrella term for all 200 species of the testudine group. This basically means that all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. There are two main groupings of turtles. There's basically turtles that retract their neck sideways, meaning their neck is visible from the front when they retract it, and there are turtles that retract their neck backwards, meaning it is not. Here is an example of a turtle that retracts its neck sideways. You can see it's fully visible from the front. And here is a turtle that retracts its neck backwards. These are most commonly seen and you can see that you can't see the side of the neck when the turtle's head is in its shell. So now let's discuss some common turtle characteristics. They have webbed feet and long claws. These are used for swimming and also so they can grasp onto banks of like the side banks as well as floating logs or branches in order to bask. They're also omnivorous, meaning they eat both animal matter and plant matter. They can also be aquatic, semi-aquatic, or mostly terrestrial. So there's a wide variety of what a turtle can be. So now let's quickly discuss some tortoise characteristics. Tortoises are fully land dwelling, meaning they don't swim and don't live any of their time in water. They have heavy shells that are more rounded. They have sturdy feet and they walk on their toes. They're also vegetarian, meaning they don't eat any animal matter. They only eat plant matter. Okay, so here we have two different types of turtles and I quickly wanted to go over their body type and explain why they're not tortoises. So here we have a box turtle and you can see that it does have a rounded shell, but it is only mostly terrestrial. This means it can swim, so that excludes it from being a tortoise. A box, box turtles are now also omnivorous, meaning it will eat plant matter as well as animal matter, unlike a tortoise. And for our red-eared slider over here, you can see that it's got a flatter shell that's more in-depth for swimming. It also has webbed toes and long claws to aid in swimming. Okay, so now let's look at a tortoise. So this is a Greek tortoise, and I wanted to quickly go over its body type so you can kind of see why this is a tortoise and not a turtle. You can see it has a rounded shell, it has bent legs and that aided it walking on its toes. It has a kind of ovaly face and it is a vegetarian, meaning it does not eat any animal matter, it only eats plant matter. It is also terrestrial, meaning it does not swim and it does not live in water. So now let's get over what a terrapin is. A terrapin is a turtle, but not a tortoise. It is more or less a hard-shelled aquatic turtle. They often make their home in brackish water. Terrapins don't actually form a specific taxonomy, which means all members may actually not be closely related. Okay, so this is my three-toed box turtle. This is Scarif, I hope you guys can see him okay. And I wanted to quickly jump in here and show you the claws and the feet that this little guy has. So let's see. Let's see. There you guys go, so you can see his long claws. And you can also see that when he goes to walk, oh, he's not having that, but when he goes to walk, you can see that he puts his wrist flat and he walks on all his whole foot. You can also see that his shell here is very rounded. He's got a nice rounded shell. And you can also see that when he puts his head out, I don't know that he'll put it back. Hello. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Oh no, he's gonna be really confident. Usually when I pet him, he like tucks his head back in. But you guys can kind of see that he tucks it straight back into his shell and it won't be visible from the front once he does that. So that is a hidden neck. And yeah, so that's what he looks like. Hi buddy. 
can also see his little beak and you can just kind of see the difference in the facial structure between a tortoise and a turtle as well you can kind of see that they I don't know I think they have more like buggy eyes hope you guys can kind of see that yeah. and if you guys want to see how I set up a mostly terrestrial turtle I have two box turtle cage tours on my channel so I'll link those for you guys and you guys can see the difference between what an aquatic or a semi-aquatic turtle setup might look like and what these guys have like for their setup I personally don't have a tortoise but it is one of my dream reptiles to get I've always wanted a tortoise I ended up getting a box turtle when I did because box turtles do stay a lot smaller than tortoises most often and I just don't have the space for a tortoise right now but in the future I definitely want to get a tortoise so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did definitely subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know did you know the difference between turtles, tortoises and turtles because I, I did know the difference but I didn't know kind of the specifics so that's kind of cool and let me know down below what you guys want to see next which reptile you'd like me to kind of zoom in on and do like an educational type video about because these were actually really fun to do. It is a lot of research but it is fun. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.